Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Untitled Reviews. Now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Lenovo's IdeaPad 5 Pro, one of the latest and beefiest additions to Lenovo's very long running IdeaPad line of mid-range and slightly higher end laptops. This one you see on your screen is the IdeaPad 5 Pro 16 that comes packed with a 5th gen AMD Ryzen 7 5800H processor, a discrete graphics card in the form of an Nvidia GTX 1650, as well as quite the powerful 16 inch 2.5K QHD panel that should offer you a rather good viewing experience. Now, this and well, what you see on the screen could all be yours for the princely sum of £999.99. Just a, a small amount under a ton, which puts it firmly in the frame of very good mid range Ultrabooks like Dell's XPS 13, as well as, if you're looking for one, a more affordable gaming laptop. But is this Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Pro worth your time? Let's have a look, shall we? So, first things first, let's have a look at design. How does the IdeaPad 5 Pro look and indeed feel? Well, first things first, I think it looks absolutely fantastic, as I'm sure you'll agree from the B-roll that we've got of, uh, of this laptop just rolling around uh, on our turntable. It's got a dark grey outer shell that, at, from the right angles uh, and with the right light, could make it look almost like one of the slightly bigger brand new MacBook Pros. And the IdeaPad 5 Pro is also built like an absolute tank with an all-metal construction, also providing a rather nice and smooth finish. Inside you'll find the 16 inch display which we'll get uh, get into more detail on in a few moments. Um, it is on the bigger side, uh, so if you're looking for a large screen laptop this is a decent choice. And you'll have, as I say, loads of screen real estate to actually play with. Uh, around that comes some pretty decently uh, tiny bezels, which also helps it to uh, look a little bit more modern than some other laptops uh, at this price. And therefore also improves the screen to body ratio, which is pretty decent as well. It's not a flip down panel or a touch screen, but considering what this IdeaPad 5 Pro is designed, for you don't really need it to be either. I will say that it is quite a weighty laptop coming in at around two kilos which does make it one of the heavier laptops that I've personally had the pleasure of testing um, and can uh, if you don't have the right bag for it make it a little bit heavy to carry around. But all in all, the IdeaPad 5 Pro looks absolutely marvellous. Now, when it comes to speakers, uh, laptop speakers in general are never the best things in the world. But Lenovo have tried their damnedest uh, with the IdeaPad 5 Pro. And to be honest, they do actually sound pretty decent. They're lacking a little bit of bottom end punch. But for some casual viewing, you should be absolutely fine. Now, intriguingly, they also feature Dolby Atmos, which you can uh, enable in the associated Dolby app that comes installed or pre-installed, as it were, on the IdeaPad 5 Pro. And so... Once you've enabled that and filled around uh, to kind of suit yourself in the settings, then you will find that they sound an awful lot richer. They are downwards firing, uh, as you'll see from the kind of footage of our turntable rolling around. Uh, and so if you do place it on the kind of a softer surface, like a bed or something, sound might become a little bit muffled. But if you're on a harder surface when you're working away at a desk, you should sound absolutely fine. So, what about the keyboard, trackpad, and all the other things? Uh, well, to be honest, actually, it is just a keyboard and a trackpad with the Idea 5 Pro. There isn't a fingerprint reader in sight, which personally is a little bit skimpish given you're dropping nearly a thousand quid uh, to purchase one of these. So, having a fingerprint sensor uh, for additional peace of mind and, of course, security would have been welcome. But actually, onto the things you do get. The keyboard itself uh, is a full size one given that this Idea Pad 5 Pro is more of a, a kind of a slightly bigger laptop. There's the room for a full size keyboard and all in all, uh, the keys themselves feel nicely tactile and pretty responsive to use. Uh, although, as I say, this is full size, uh, but do note there are a couple of odd layout decisions. On the first, well, really the first problematic is that the number pad is a little bit squished on the right hand side, which is in turn uh, squashed the return key. So if you're somebody who does, who's a relatively quick typist and you want to mash the enter key down as hard as you can, you may find yourself inputting the number seven. I know I certainly found myself doing that uh, on a couple of occasions. Uh, but on a more positive note, the keyboard here is backlit and actually uh, Lenovo's backlighting is rather nice. It's more of an underglow style, like what you get on more premium uh, gaming keyboards as opposed to, say, per key type stuff. Uh, so there's actually just one kind of what looks like one continuous white light underneath the keys, which looks rather decent as well. And you get a little bit more even coverage uh, doing it that way, too. As for the trackpad, uh, you'll notice it's a pretty good size uh, in general laptops. But I have seen some 13 and 14 inch laptops that actually offer bigger ones. So, you know, uh, the choice is yours when it comes to those. But actual tracking is accurate and the buttons feel pretty decent, too. It must be said. On the ports front, uh, Lenovo are actually giving you a relatively decent selection uh, with the IdeaPad 
5 Pro. What you'll find here uh, is an HDMI out. Uh, for those interested, it's HDMI 1.4B, uh, as well as one USB-C, two high-speed USB-As, a full-size SD card reader, and a headphone mic combo jack. You will find enough here to get by, and certainly the addition of an HDMI and an SD card reader in 2022 is rather nice, but truth be told, if I'm being really picky, a second USB-C for speedy data transfer or Thunderbolt 4 display output would have certainly been welcome. Just a personal thing, I think people are finding uh, these days that USB-C is becoming the standard, and so having a couple of those ports as opposed to just the one would have been welcome. So what about the display then? How does the IdeaPad 5 Pro perform, or rather how does it how does its panel perform? Well, as I said uh, earlier on, this is a 16-inch panel, uh, which gives you a shed load of real estate to use it's one of the bigger uh, screen laptops that i've tested we've had a couple of 15 inch panels here before but usually what you'll find these days is that laptops are 13 or 14 inches and so having a 16 inch panel just gives you a couple of extra inches of screen real estate uh, alongside this it's a two and a half k qhd panel giving you a resolution of 2560 by 1400 giving you a lot more than the standard full hd panels out there which should mean that any images uh, or content you watch should look rather crisp indeed. Uh, speaking of things uh, being rather crisp, the uh, IdeaPad 5 Pro utilizes a 350 nits of quoted brightness, which means uh, that you get an above average maximum brightness for a laptop. Usually they're around 300 nits, so 350 is a nice little bit way up the road from that, and colors should look rather decent uh, and bold. Uh, although, when watching some content, as you'll see on this wildlife uh, footage that's rolling around, things can look a little bit warmer, which does distort colours a little bit. It's not so much that it's like really noticeable, but just something you want to watch out for. Uh, this is uh, also a 1610 uh, aspect ratio laptop, offering you something a little bit square. I believe the uh, Acer Chromebook Spin 713 that we had on this channel and we labelled the best Chromebook money can buy also had a 1610 panel, uh, 1610 aspect ratio, should I say, uh, which just uh, works a little bit better for modern apps and browsing and just shows Lenovo are rather forward thinking in that regard. And uh, what about performance then? Well, to be honest, we have pretty high hopes for the IdeaPad 5 Pro, just given its beefy spec sheet with an octa-core Ryzen 7 5800H and GTX 1650 graphics card inside. And I'm pleased to report that actually it does perform rather well indeed. That octa-core processor will give you uh, some incredible multi-threaded performance for the price. I mean, you can really uh, really go to town on, on this thing for kind of entry-level content creation. If you want to edit a video uh, in 1080p or 4K, then you certainly can. And even if you just want to have a load of Google Chrome tabs open uh, whilst you're running Spotify and a whole load of other tasks in the background, then this thing will definitely uh, be up to the task. It may not challenge the likes uh, of a MacBook Pro these days, which is really the kings for content creation, but for a thousand quid, the IdeaPad 5 Pro certainly does the job. 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM also backs this up, giving you loads of headroom to play with, uh, whether you're running, say, a large football manager database in the background while you're working and kind of sneaking in a bit of gaming as well, or you're just running, um, as I say, some more intense programs like Photoshop that can notoriously be quite the RAM hog, for instance. A discrete graphics card in the form of a GTX 1650 uh, is more on the mid-range uh, side these days, uh, but also means this IdeaPad 5 Pro, whilst it may have some more business class looks, will also be up to the task uh, compared to, say, some more uh, affordable gaming laptops. Uh, you Basically, this should give you some really nice mid-range uh, performance at 1080p. Uh, so if you're playing things like Tomb Raider or Dirt Rally, for instance, two great games, uh, or even Hitman 3, a personal favourite of mine, or any game really off of Steam, you should be able to get it looking pretty good at uh, 1080p settings. Uh, and when combined with that Ryzen 7 5800H, you should have a pretty formidable gaming laptop. As for storage, uh, the IdeaPad 5 Pro utilizes a 512 gig SSD, um, which, to be honest, for the price, isn't actually half bad. I'm finding a lot of laptops, uh, even around this 800 to 1200 pound mark, can actually even offer half of that. 256 gig is probably one of the most common uh sizes of storage these days. So seeing something 512 gig is rather nice. You could argue that Having a terabyte would have been good for peace of mind, but it would have pushed the price up somewhat, given that solid-state storage is still coming at a premium. But though the SSD you will get here is rather speedy indeed, uh, and means you should be able to load and save files on and off it uh, in a practical instant, which is always something worth having on a productivity laptop 
like this. Now it looks like the good times keep on rolling with the IdeaPad 5 Pro and to be honest that really does extend into the world of battery life. Uh, the IdeaPad 5 Pro will give you around 11 hours or so uh, just before conking out uh, which means you should be able to get at least one working day out of this thing comfortably or even two if you're really into hypermiling uh, your laptop's battery life before needing to plug it in for the big charge back to 100%. It is uh, pretty good for mid-range laptops. 11 hours is rather good. Usually we see things lasting around 10, so to give you an extra hour is a certain bonus. Uh, and considering that you do have a discrete GPU inside, getting 11 hours out of this thing is quite a feat in itself, given that some graphics cards can be quite a noticeable drain uh, on the battery itself. So, if you're looking for a laptop that's going to last you a working day, or even two if you're clever, the IdeaPad 5 Pro is definitely one to consider. So, in conclusion, should you buy Lenovo's IdeaPad 5 Pro? Well, if you're somebody who's looking for a large screen laptop, then you'll find plenty to like here. A 16-inch 2.5K panel is one of the best ones that I've had the pleasure of featuring on this channel in the past, uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, also, if you're somebody who's looking for something with some rather beefy performance, uh, then you'll find lots to like here. That Ryzen 7 5800H processor and 1650 uh, GPU do combine to to give you some rather good all-round performance for some more light productivity tasks or some slightly more intense things like photo or video editing you should be able to handle the majority of it here and also if you're somebody who's just looking for something a little bit more stylish uh, than your average mid-range laptop then the IdeaPad 5 Pro certainly looks rather good with that all grey smooth metal outer shell certainly to helping to turn a few heads but it is just worth noting uh, that if you're look if you're after say a couple more USB-C ports, uh, then you may want to look elsewhere. And likewise, uh, a thousand quid, uh, a thousand quid worth of laptop isn't for everybody. So if you are on a bit of a, a smaller budget, then you may want to look for something a little bit more affordable. But all in all, the IdeaPad 5 Pro is a rather decent option and certainly gets a recommended badge, uh, as it were. Now, all that really remains to be said is that if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe to the channel. We've got some rather intriguing keyboard and mouse content coming up, like usual, uh, that you won't want to miss. So be sure to ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. To follow us on Twitter and indeed Instagram, of course, there should be links appearing on the screen to those right about now. And also, down in the description, there'll be a link to the Untitled Merchandise Store that's hosted on Spring, where you can buy all sorts of t-shirts, mugs, um, hoodies, sweatshirts, uh, pint glasses, and everything in between. There's just been a couple of new uh, slogan t-shirts added to the store, which you really do want to go and check out. They look fantastic. Uh, so, if you're interested in that sort of thing, there'll be a link down in the description. And, of course, if you like any of the kit we feature in these videos, be it this fantastic IdeaPad 5 Pro, or any of the myriads of keyboards, mice, microphones, multimedia controllers, laptops, and everything in between that we've reviewed over the last few years, then there'll be Amazon links down in the description to those respective videos where you can pick all that kit up. So, once again, thank you very much for watching.